ETH has just printed a new high of $3,446. This is the seventh green monthly candle for Ethereum. Um, still incredibly bullish, but it's always important to make sure that you take profits. Nothing always goes up. I'm pretty sure that before we see some kind of correction, we're gonna see a massive spike upwards, especially thanks to the London upgrade that is happening in July. But then afterwards, probably around August, September, we might see a little bit of a correction for Ethereum. So this is definitely really, really bullish. Now, one of our, also the main reasons why the Ethereum um, ecosystem is so bullish is because stable coins is one of the best assets in the cryptocurrency space to park liquidity from the profits that you've earned during this bull run. So the stable coins on the Ethereum blockchain have doubled in Q1 2021. And I think this is just gonna increase even more as stable coins, definitely one of the best places to have some liquidity in order to buy the dip later on, maybe during the bear market or something like that. So Ethereum is moving Full force ahead with the Ethereum 2.0 super experimental testnet. There they're going to test things like the quick merge and all of these important things. <laughs> What's interesting is that the more interest crypto is gathering, a lot of old men have started yelling at the cryptocurrencies, um, saying that they're rubbish, rat poison, whatever. So you've got Bill Maher, a very important, uh, well, seemingly a very good comedian. I think I was a fan of his show, but now I feel like it's a lot of out of touch of reality, um, talking about Bitcoin, but a lot of false information in his comedy. And then you've also got um, Charlie Munger, I think 97 year old veteran investor, very successful with everything non-technology. So his portfolio is mainly non-tech stocks. And now he doesn't just understand the benefits of the cryptocurrency space and attributes it to a Ponzi scheme. But yeah, it's basically old men yelling at crypto having no understanding of what the purpose is. So not something that we really should pay attention to. So I think you also should, should be careful with the new MetaMask phishing bot. If you're using MetaMask to interact with DeFi applications as a new phishing bot that could actually impact your investment. Then what is also pretty cool is that eBay is trying to enter into the NFT space. So they're exploring ways to maybe create a platform um, allowing for people to auction on NFTs. And I think this is pretty interesting. I mean, eBay is a crazy platform. Like a lot of users are using it and a lot of users will be actually introduced to the cryptocurrency space should they follow through. So I think it's very interesting that eBay is, is going in that direction. But it's no, it's no surprise because eBay and PayPal were very close to each other and now they're split and PayPal is already now offering cryptocurrencies. So yeah, it's no surprise that eBay is also entering into the game and the NFT space, it's not dying down. I think for like, like low key artists, it might not be that lucrative, but for prominent artists, for companies, the NFT space is just gonna explode with companies like Nike, Coca-Cola and so on. Maybe combining physical products with NFT digital items, as well as the whole gaming industry is gonna be revolutionized with NFT items. Then last but not least, the, the Maker Foundation, um, which is basically the Federal Reserve of the cryptocurrency space, actually sends $480 million of debt funds to MakerDAO. Super interesting things are happening in the cryptocurrency space, especially in DeFi. Everything on Ethereum is exploding right now. Let me know in the comments down below if you're bullish and when you think we'll have a 5K per ETH. I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.